Hi, I'm Richard and I wanted to respond to a user comment that was made on one of my YouTube videos the other day which was uh, Sardi PCP says uh, I have a problem men I don't find an alpha rounded square what can I do thanks um, and what he's referring to is this rounded square alpha here that I've been using and I was applying it I think as a seat cushion texture like that with a little bit of height information let's do that now so you can see what I'm talking about something like this obviously this is a um, cube but you know, I was applying a cushion effect like that it's a very simple cushion and this rounded square alpha doesn't actually come with substance painter you you can do all of these things if you wish to in substance designer but obviously I haven't got substance designer and that's a whole load more money you can use this shape brick tool which kind of does what you want but it's a little bit blurry on the edges and it's hard to get it just right so what you may need to do is create your own alphas and import them into substance painter so let me show you how I do that Let's spin over to here. This is GIMP. Now, if you haven't got GIMP, then you need GIMP. <laughs> You're not going to continue in any form of game uh, design, texturing, uh, water modeling, or whatever without some form of graphics package. Obviously, I'd recommend Photoshop. You don't have to go for the full version. But GIMP is completely free. It's got a few quirks, I guess you'd say, but it is free, so you can work around those. So what I like to do is I like to create a new image. And I like to keep it as, there we go, it's already set the image size width to 512 by 512. I think that's a very good compromise. If you wanted to, you could go to 1024 by 1024. Substance Paint is fine with that. I think 512 by 512 is actually absolutely fine. And if I click OK here, what this does is it creates a simple white uh, image for us, uh, 512 by 512. Uh, and if I just right click here, I'm going to do Add Alpha Channel, because we're going to be creating a, an alpha. Uh, it's, some of this is going to be transparent. Now, with that said, let's just delete the whole thing. And what I like to do is click over on the um, select tool. What's it called? Box select tool? Rectangle select. And then if I go over here, I'll make sure that anti-aliasing is selected and that rounded corners is selected. And I've got that set to 32 at the moment. Uh, so let's just have a little look and see how that looks. And I'll just grab that. And you can see those corners. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to position. I'm just going to type 0. 0 and then on the size I'll go 512 by 512 and that will take up the entire um, image but I want it to have I want it to have a little bit of breathing room uh, on each side so what I'll now do is I'll do select um, shrink and again I've, I've changed this to 8 pixels let's just type that in 8 pixels there so just click OK all right so we've got a we've got a, a, a rounded selection and now all we need to do is just go into here click on there and if we just flip this, if it's not already set to white, there we go, just flip that and just click on there, you can you can choose your colour. Just make sure you've selected white in there. And then I should just be able to click that and it will fill it and we have ourselves a rounded square. So now if I just file export that to, um, what you can actually do, you can export this straight into Substance Painter, but you don't need to. I'll just put this into my pictures folder. We'll just call this um, rounded square, rounded square. Um, I'll call this rounded square 2 or something like that. Export that. Did that work? Did I click it? I think I did. The given file name does not have any known extension. No, I didn't put a PNG, did I? <laughs> .png. Alright, I do go for PNG because it's lossless. And click export. And say export. And now if I spin over to my um, pictures folder and find rounded square, rounded square 2, there it is. Um, what I can actually do now is if I bring up Substance Painter again, I won't do this, where's it gone? Round, <laughs> can't spell rounded, I should have gone for somewhere else, shouldn't I? What I can now do is I can drag that in, oh, before I do that, just make sure you've got alphas selected. All right, on here on the shelf, just make sure you've got alphas selected. And you can say under here, you can just drag that in, and if you when you drag it in, you've got the options. Import for current session only, so that means that once you've closed this down that, that will no longer be in your alphas. Uh, import to the current project, which I haven't saved, let me just save it and you'll maybe make a bit more sense there. Let's just say this is, um, yeah it's fine, beveled cube. Save that. Alright, now so if, if I drag that in again, okay you can see import to beveled cube. This is useful if you've got an alpha you're thinking well I'm never going to use this alpha for anything else. This is specific to the project, then import, that, import it into just that, into this this, this file, or you can import it to the shelf, which means that every time you load up uh, Substance Painter, it will always be there for you. So that is how I created my alphas. I've got, I've got pretty pretty quick at doing these now, as you probably saw there. That was pretty quick. I mean, let's just create another one just for fun. So let's just um, put, get rid of you. Let's just do something like um, 
I don't know, let's create, uh, so first of all let's just select none up here, and let's just create a, a silly looking one. I can't really see what I'm doing, but there we go, something like that, there we go, you probably, you may not have been able to see that, uh, click on there, click on fill, excuse me, oh I need a new layer, don't I, let's control Z that, um, I'll add a new layer, uh, we'll just call this zigzags or something, zigzag, so OK, and then yeah, that's selected, and then click fill like that, and that'll create this. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I might just even do something like just add another. I don't know if you guys can actually see the lines, but I'll just do this. I'm just messing around here. Okay, and click that, and then fill, fill there. I don't know what that is. It's almost like a little logo, isn't it? So now we'll file export that. Export as uh, pictures. We'll just call this uh, Ziggy. Ziggy.png, all right, Ziggy.png, export that, export that please, thank you, and now let's go over to here and just get Ziggy on the go, Ziggy, and if I go over to here and then, sorry, just drag Ziggy in here, and for this time, for instance, I might just import it to beveled cube, there it is, Ziggy, I like Ziggy, <laughs> I'm liking Ziggy more than I thought I would, there you go, and you can just click on that, you see, so you can decide, you can go to town on these alphas, and do whatever you like. Um, I encourage you to do so. Like I say, the things that you can't do is have any any values. A lot of the um, like shape square here, for instance, you can see it's got hardness and squeeze and things like that. So you can adjust these values. So the hardness is is effectively how um, how much feathering is on the edge. And you might just want to drag that down a bit. And then the squeeze is how big. You know, I think this you can you can make it almost like a cube or very very thin, like a line like that. Let's just size that up, so things like that. But you don't get that ability, I'm afraid, with uh, out of the box unless you're using Substance Designer. So if you're using Substance Designer, you can, uh, you know, with the whole new school of learning to be able to do that sort of thing. But you can always do it there, and I know I'd encourage you to download the demo for that if you if you if you want something a little bit more fancy. But for simple uh, alphas like this one here, go into GIMP, create yourself a white alpha like this and just drag and drop it into Substance Painter. So I hope that's been useful, I hope that makes sense. Please uh, comment, obviously I love a subscribe and I love a like, so if, if there's anything you want to add then please do so. I hope this has been helpful, speak soon, thank you, bye bye.